Hello and welcome to Around the Best Town. I'm your mayor, John McCormick, and we're here today at the stage at Woodbridge High School to talk about our upcoming summer concert series. And joining me is the music man of Woodbridge Township, Mr. Bill Brandenburg, who's probably responsible for two-thirds or more of the shows we're going to talk about tonight, uh, this afternoon. We have literally over a hundred different acts playing in the course of the summer of 2024. It's an amazing summer for us. It started, we'll go really quick with uh, last weekend, Summerfest. We had five, ba six bands. We had uh, the Revolver. We had Saints in the City covering Bruce, Southern Steel, Country Rock. We had Moroccan Sheep Herders. We had One Hit Wonderers and then Super Trans Am knocked it out of the park when they closed. Six great shows from 12 to 9. Phenomenal weather. Everybody loved it. Yeah, great day. I've been hearing from people every day since how yep. much they love the band. Exactly, bands. exactly. Perfect so day, perfect event. Let's get into our uh, Golden Oldies Mondays. We started this in 1999, one night a week with, with Oldies on Mondays. We had a whole lot of great bands back then that were around, like Johnny Maestro and others. Let's just talk real quick. We have 10 shows, the Everly set, obviously covering the Everly Brothers. The cameos are their own stuff. The Chicklets played last year as an opening act. They were so good. We booked them for a main act this year. The Duprees, everybody knows. Lady Supreme, you can figure out what they cover. One of the best ones, Bobby Wilson. Talk real quick about Bobby Wilson. Uh, he's Jackie Wilson's son. Mm -hmm. He didn't know he was Jackie Wilson's son until uh, he was... <laughs> He was performing in Las Vegas, and the Temptations heard him and said, he not only sounds like Jackie Wilson, he looks like Jackie right, Wilson. Right. And they did a little investigating. They talked to him, found out who his mother was, and they said, Jackie Wilson dated your mother. There and you go. Th that's how that's he found out he was... I'm thinking about that story. Yeah, and the, and the Chicklets opened up for him last year. Oh, is that what it was? Okay. Yeah. We have Beatlemania again. We have so many acts on Tuesdays, and the Beatles really broke up in 69, so they were a 60s band. Right. And we try to do 50s and 60s on Mondays. Jesse Garren's Elvis tribute, everybody says, I never managed to see his show. I'm always doing something our way, but everybody loves him. The Happenings, and of course, everybody's favorite house band, The Inferno. So Mondays is rocking, but my personal favorite is Tuesdays, because that's the 70s and 80s. That's my era. That's a little more your era, too, even though you're a little bit older than me. So we open up with Frontiers covering Journey. Absolutely fantastic band. They play every year. Next up is a new one, Midnight Blue covering Farner. We do have a lot of new bands on Tuesdays. Yeah, we had heard from a lot of people the last couple of years. We love the bands, but... How about some new ones? Because right. we've seen a lot of these bands right. several times already. Yep. So you said go ahead and yep. do that, and that's what it, we did. It's working. Then we go to Steely Dan or Reeling in the Years. Then we have had beginnings before here. We kind of rotate them in and out, covering Chicago. We've had ELO Tribute Show the last couple of years covering ELO, of course. One of my personal favorites, Best of the Eagles, they play every year. Another new one, Best Friends Girl by the Cars. Uh, Stevie Mack, formerly called Gypsy, they cover Fleetwood Mac. Unbelievable. They played the first time two years ago. Yeah. You, it's Stevie Nicks on stage. I mean, uh, yeah. that's how good this that is. That was our biggest crowd of the year last year. It was. It's certainly well, that lot, lot weather dependent, but that was yes. a, a really good one. 33 and a third covering Queen. I don't know what the 33 and a third means. Um, yeah, I don't know either. All right. <laughs> that's just what they call themselves, but they're out of Philly and okay. the, they have a lot of singers. So they replicate that Queen sound, mm -hmm. which Queen does in the studio with overdubbing. But this band recreates that live. I can't wait to hear them. Captain Jack, we haven't had a Billy Joel band in a long time. We had Big Shot, but then he became a real Big Shot. And he <laughs> goes and plays with Billy Joel every month at uh, Madison Square Garden. He's right. done that, the lead singer. Then we have Time Travelers covering the Moody Blues. That's then a, Human Wheels one. covering John Mellencamp. I, one I'm really looking forward to because I love the two bands, The Launch covering Boston and Styx. And finally, the best band of all, the Beach Street Band, covering the great Bruce Springsteen. So what a Tuesday lineup. If you're a 70s and early 80s rock, classic rock fan, just camp out here every Tuesday night. That is a great lineup. And uh, the Moody Blues, John Mellencamp, and the Boston Sticks Band, those are all first-timers as well. Right, right. First oh, that's right, that's right. So we got Foreigner, Steely Dan, uh, The Cars, Queen, this Billy Joel band, Moody Blues, Mellencamp, eight of the 14 shows are first-timers. Right, That's right. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, now, Wednesdays are the ones that you know everything about because you book every single Wednesday, and I know nothing about them. So let's just give you 30, 45 seconds on each. Uh, Made it in the Cornerstones. We actually opened tonight at Parker Press yep. Park. They've played here before. When people see this, that show will have already happened. That's right. That's right. But, uh, they're a reggae band. We have had them before, one of the best reggae bands I've they're ever fun. seen. He's from Senegal, West Africa. They're based in Brooklyn now. 
But uh, yeah, they're a great reggae band. That's June 12th tonight. Tonight. Then we go to June 19th, Carol in Wonderland. She is a blues guitarist from Texas. She actually uh, toured for five years with John Mayall, people who are into the blues. John Mayall's an icon. And she was in his band for five years. Wow. And now she's off doing her own thing. So yeah, th this is her first time in Woodbridge. She's amazing. She has an opener named uh, Miss Emily. Miss Emily Beta. is a Canadian blues artist. She actually has won uh, uh, Maple Leaf Blues Awards up in Canada and been nominated for Juno Awards up in Canada. So she's actually a sounds pretty important. big deal. Don't know what it means, but it sounds important. Uh, the Juno is the uh, uh, Canadian Grammy. Oh, okay, so, that's serious. Yeah, yeah. So she's big time in Canada, but you know, down here we can get her to open uh, for Carol in Wonderland. So that's a thrill. I didn't mention the opener for tonight, Krishona with Made in the Cornerstones. Then we have Alicia Brilla opener, Low Lily. Tell uh, me about her. She's also Canadian. Uh, she's of Indian and uh, Tanzanian descent, uh, and and European Canadian. Her mother's a European Canadian and her dad is Indian and uh, Tanzanian. And she's got a world music vibe going on. A little bit of reggae in that too, but other uh, world music uh, uh, sounds. Okay, The Suffers next on July 3rd, opener Mary Elaine Jenkins. Uh, the Suffers are uh, an eight piece band from Houston, Texas, kind of a soul, funk, up tempo uh, party band. Okay. Reel it with a great lead singer. Next up, I recognize this name, and she's really, really good. I know she's a foreign Grammy winner, Nella. Venezuelan? She's from Venezuela, okay. right. She won the Latin Grammy for Best New Artist in 2019. Wow. We had her here uh, two or three years ago, and this is her first time back since then. I just, I went to that one. I remember that being a dynamite show. Uh, you know, and, and it was Latin music. She sings almost entirely in Spanish. Right. And when you said you loved it, I was like, wow. That's fantastic. I'm coming around, it's not, man. You know, it, it's, it's taken me a while, but I'm coming it, she, around from she, uh, mellow was, classic rock she, to other rocks. She was not in genres. your usual uh, lane that you like. I, right, was, right. I was really surprised. Right, she was very, very pleasant. Yeah. Openers, the honey dew drops. Next up, Taj Ferrant, opener, the outcrops. Taj is, uh, he's 15 years old now. He's from Australia. He's 15? He is the next Stevie Ray Vaughan. If you hear him play Stevie Ray Vaughan and close your eyes, you cannot tell the difference. Wow. He just turned 15. The recordings that are out on him right now, he was 14 when he recorded them. And, and he's playing a concert here. He's, he's well, he, he didn't come from Australia just to play Woodbridge. Well, I, yeah, but I know, but he was coming to play here. in New York and Philly. And while he's here, I said, hey, stop in Woodbridge on a Wednesday. So is that one you found or they called you? Um, I was talking to the agent about other acts, and he kind of said, hey, I got this kid you might like. And I went and looked, and I said, oh, man, this kid's amazing. So uh, we booked him, and this will probably be the only time we ever book him, because a year from now, he'll be playing the Beacon Theater. All right. Uh, uh, he is going to be big, big, big. Next up, we have James Hunter. James Hunter uh, is also uh, was Grammy nominated. He's a British soul singer, like Blue Eyed Soul. And uh, his first album, I think it was 2008, uh, got nominated uh, for a Grammy. All right. And uh, he's a great singer. Next up, Honey Island Swamp Band opener, Robinson Treacher. Honey Tell Island. me about Honey Island. Uh, they're from New Orleans. Originally, they're from San Francisco, but they've been based in New Orleans for almost 20 years now. And uh, Honey Island Swamp Band, I think, kind of gives you a vibe of what they're about. It's like, you know, Cajun and rock and roots music. You know, it's it's a gumbo okay. of stuff. Good good fun party band as well as next, any band from New Orleans yeah, usually, yeah. usually is. And next up, Fantastic Cat. Uh, Fantastic Cat uh, is the new Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young in the sense that these were four artists who had their own careers and kind of discovered each other and said, "Hey, we sound pretty good together," and started playing some gigs together. And as a band. You know, their solo careers were modestly successful, but as a band, they started to take off mm -hmm. and uh, really talented. As a matter of fact, every person in the band plays drums so and guitar. So during the course of the day, they switch, they switch instruments, off. which is a, a fun thing to see. Cool. Charlie and the Tropicals opener, Zydeco Revelators. Yeah, the Zydeco Revelators. Zydeco. They, they do Zydeco music. Was, I don't uh, know what that means, but go uh, ahead. Yeah, it's also New Orleans. Char Charlie... Uh, uh, Halloran is from New Orleans. He's a trombone player. He's played uh, 
He's been a side man with uh, Anders Osborne and New Orleans artists that you're probably not familiar with. Nope. But um, he plays with everybody down there and he has this band on the side where he does his own stuff. And it's not even on here, but he invited uh, Maria Ramos to guest sing with him. She's in a Latin Grammy winning band called Flor de Toloache. So uh, we have two Latin Grammy winners performing in Parker wow. Press Park this summer. Next up, Mary Fall, opener Jesse Terry. Uh, Mary Fall was in a band called October Project, and uh, many people our age are familiar with a band called Renaissance with Annie Haslam. And Mary Fall has a voice very similar to Annie Haslam. It's a very powerful, rich, deep voice, a uh, very moving voice. And uh, sh you know she's doing her original material, some October Project stuff, some covers. She put out an album of cover songs and uh, some of those songs will be part of her show. Light of um, Day Benefit Concert. We have Joe D'Urso, Daniela Cotton, Danielia Dan Cotton. Danielia Cotton, yes. Jake Thistle, who we know is the, the, the guy was a Young star, female. like you said, an 18-year-old playing here <laughs> yeah. covering Jackson Brown. Miss Emily, another special guest. Talk about Light of Day. Uh, Light of Day uh, is an organization that raises money to fight Parkinson's, ALS, and other related uh, uh, diseases that Bruce Springsteen is uh, very involved with. And they've been doing these shows in Asbury Park for 20 years. Uh, Joe Durso is one of the organizers of the shows. And he's been, especially the last five or six years, been spreading out, doing the shows in more and more places. He takes a group over to Europe to do some wow. shows. And it's all to raise money. So we're doing a free show, but it's a benefit because we're gonna ask the audience to buy a 50-50 or make a donation. Right, right. And last year we raised several thousand dollars in donations. Good, good. So uh, we donate, uh, the, the artists play for less than their normal fee and we cover that. We, right. we give the them money, pay right, exactly. we pay the artists, we pay the sound. Uh, the audience gets to see the show for free and we ask them to donate. Next up, House of Hamill and Jan Close Band. Uh, House of Hamill is a, a Celtic folk band. Oh, wow. uh, two of them, I think, two one or two of them used to be in Enter the Haggis, a very well-known Celtic rock band. Um, and uh, Jan Close, he, he's originally from South Africa. He has been here before as well. Fantastic voice, really great singer. So it's Jan, not Jan. Yeah, yeah, Jan Close. <laughs> yeah. Cat Wright and Bandits on the Run. Uh, Cat Wright is from New England. Uh, she used to have a seven or eight piece band that had horns and it was like an up-tempo, funky, soulful kind of band. And uh, it's hard to travel with eight pieces. You know, that's more hotel rooms, more meals, more, more everything. So she's stripped down and she's doing a trio thing now. It's a little more, uh, okay. a little more folky. And Bandits on the Run, um, we've had them here a couple times, three-part harmony. Uh, they're all actors, they're in TV shows and commercials and all that kind of stuff, but they write their own songs, do their own arrangements. And uh, those two bands together just seem like such a great show. The final Wednesday night, all the way to September 18th, Cole Brook Road and Rachel Summer, Sumner and Traveling Light. Yeah, the, those are uh, both uh, bluegrass bands. Cole Brook Road is from uh, Pennsylvania and uh, Rachel Sumner is from New England. Uh, I think Vermont, uh, I'm not sure. but. Uh, they're just good, solid bluegrass bands. They're not well known enough to headline, so I took Got two it. that are somewhat known, but really, really good, and said, okay, you both do an hour. Instead of, okay. one, instead of one band doing the whole show, you can split the show. So folks, Wednesday is Eric Parker Press Park, right across from Town Hall. Mondays and Tuesdays are at Woodbridge High School. We're about to talk about Thursdays. They are at uh, Rankin Park, right across from Moby Dick's. Friday nights we'll get to is Parker Press. Saturday we'll get to, they're all mixed up, and then Sunday's back at the high school. So let's jump to Thursdays, it's not your night, you don't do anything about it. It's all booked locally by us. Starts with Spine tomorrow night, Power Tones, 3rd of July, Atlantic Sound Machine, Black Rose, Kickback Band, Blame It on Richie, Dead Cowboys, Seven Stone, Ninth South, and Uncle Pico's. These are the kind of bands you'd see at Moby Dick's, uh, or if Riffy's, when Riffy's was around, those kind of local bands, we try to support them. Let's go to Fun Fridays, brand new folks, Fun Fridays. We gotta start recognizing that we're tr trending away from the 50s and 60s, and we're getting towards the 90s and the, the new century. So some of these are much younger. We start with Jared Tolley, who's a local guy, piano player, not a singer. He will come to curtains and pack the house and just play. He can play anything. You mention a song, he can play it. There's had no music in front of him. Wonderful, talented young guy. 
Uh, we then jumped no concert on July 5th. We jumped to the Willie Lynch Band, which played last year. Really, really good Irish band. Just wonderful guys right off the boat. Not right off the boat, probably 30 years ago they came off the boat. But they just are fantastic Irish music. Then the Disco Tex, you booked them, right? Yeah, through Rich Goldberg. He's been suggesting them for a while, and we right. didn't really have a place don't to have put a, we, a disco. Venue. Now, yeah. now Friday's is catch-all. Yeah, right. So. And then 90s night, they are fantastic. Yeah, they played here seen a them bunch. play at the brew pub. We had them play at their, our train event, uh, the arts, uh, arts train. Um, they're just terrific. Cover all the 90s music really, really good. Flying Ivories, I've seen them multiple times. There's multiple people in the group. You buy Flying, flying Ivories, and you get whatever two people there are. But they go back and forth and talk and play and, and involve the crowd and somebody's playing a song and you can give them, donate 20 bucks and they'll cut that song and play your song. It's a lot of fun. Then we have the Yacht Lobsters playing Yacht Rock, which is again, and recognizing a new kind of genre, you book them. Uh, yeah, uh, Yacht Rock is basically uh, soft rock from the 70s. Right, right. Brandy, Christopher Cross. Yeah, yeah Christopher yeah. Cross and Brandy, You're a Fine Girl and yep. stuff like that. Good band. We actually had them uh, a number of years ago uh, as uh, Josephus and the something or something. They were, they were like that name. They were a big jazz band, like a nine-piece oh, jazz right. band. But they have a side project uh, doing the yacht rock. Then we have Rob Messina's Dave Matthews tribute again, a newer band that the younger generation would be a little bit more familiar with. And then '80s Revolution, which says what it is. It's again we're recognizing that you know the. Doo-wop's not going to be here forever, and the man, bands I like are not going to be here forever, so we start getting into different different things. Let's go to Country Sundays, 12 shows starting June 23rd, Splintered Sunlight covering the Grateful Dead. Very popular Grateful Dead band. We'll have a big turnout for yeah. that. Kinderhook, oh, I remember seeing in the... Colonel's Garter. Colonel's Garter, yeah, and other places up down uh, Route 9 and Route 35, and uh, uh, like Zaffy's and those kind of places. Really, it used to be Kinderhook Creek. Yep. Just short of hitting it big. Yep, they Broke opened up, up for 20 years or so. Now they're back yep. together. I don't know the music. I don't know the words or the songs, but they're good. Yeah, really good band. They were this close to becoming a national right. known act, opened up for some really big names, and then they broke up. And now they're back and they, they sound, sound as great. good as they ever. They sound yeah. great. Moss Henry and the Bryophytes, <laughs> Honky this, Tonk Western. This is a first time. Uh, yeah, they're a. Uh, a honky tonk band, you know, who, you, who you'd see in a western bar playing honky tonk okay. music. It's it's Let's a try everything. It's a fun band, it, and it's and honky tonk is very country. So uh, one I love also, although I don't know much about Zach Brown, but ZBTB is another one of those bands like Kinderhook. I could listen to them all night, night even though I don't know the words uh, or also, the music. Also one of our biggest uh, turnouts. Yes. Very very popular. Good band. And they've played here. This is probably their fifth or sixth time. Right. Uh, over the yeah, years. Yeah, they're really good. People ask for them. Yeah. yeah. Simply Shania. First time, Shania Twain tried to get some more contemporary uh, country music. and uh, Everybody knows her. Everybody knows her. She's got a lot of fans. I imagine we'll get a good turnout for that. Wichita Lineman covering Glenn Campbell. Glenn Campbell, who um, many of Glenn Campbell's songs were written by Jimmy Webb, who we had in oh, Avenel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, two years. Actually, the, the first concert I did in Avenel, right, Art Jimmy Center, Webb. was Jimmy Webb. And he wrote Wichita Lineman and Galveston, and a lot of these uh, songs uh, are made famous by oh, Glenn Campbell. Oh, what's the one I'm thinking of? Not Glenn Campbell's song. I forget it. It's not worth it, but I remember... Oh. Oh, 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 Jimmy Webber, he wrote Up, Up, and Away. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, Up, yeah. Up, and Away, yeah. And, and many, many other popular yep. songs. Eddie Clendenning and the Blue Ribbon Boys, Rockabilly Elvis, they played before. They're they fun. were here last year. Yeah, that's a trio. It's but the uh, music is just, it's so different. It, you know, instead of the big band with the backup singers and all that stuff, it's just three guys, guitar, upright bass, right, right. and a drummer. They're fun. And it's a fun show. It's a great yeah. sound. And early Elvis stuff, uh, you know, Elvis pretty much started as a rockabilly artist. Okay. And kind of evolved into a, a rock and Las Vegas type act. Next up, Southpaw, just a country cover band. Yeah. Um, they're getting a lot of attention locally. Um, very, very popular. Everybody, I kept hearing about them from different people. Same way with Super Trans Am. Right, right. You know, people know I'm the music guy. And they, Bill, have you heard this band? Have you heard this band? So uh, I was having that a lot with Southpaw, so I checked them out, and they were really good. So, uh, yeah, this will be a first time in Woodbridge. Cosmic Jerry covering Jerry Garcia. Yeah, they've played here before uh, when John here was doing some shows, okay. some benefit shows. Um, he, uh, not, not John, Chris, 
who works here. Oh, they come. Yes, yes. They did a fundraiser for the recovery group. Right, uh, right. Uh, wrote the Hope or whatever it was. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had them, I think, twice here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it had been a few years since they were here, and uh, and they went over really well when they were here. So we said, you know what, maybe time to have them back. Good. He borrow Bandits, Country Bluegrass Hits. Uh, very similar to Southpaw in that I kept hearing people say, you got to check out this band, you got to check out this band. So um, I gave a listen and they were really good. They're, they're a New Jersey band, so they play a lot of the places around central New Jersey. Late for the Sky, we, we've seen Jake Thistle a bunch of times here. He started out like right after we graduated high school. I think the first time he played here, he was still 17. Yeah, I well, think, um, yeah, probably. I, yeah, he was. And he turned turn 18 that July or something yeah, like right, that. Yeah, right, right. And uh, I think he's 20 now or. I think he just turned 20. And he's in the late, uh, Light of Day Festival, and he's, he's doing this solo. He's doing Light of Day. He's doing his Jackson Brown show uh, here on a Sunday. And we also had him in Avenel doing his original oh, material. That's right. that's right. I couldn't make that. And it was very well attended. went over really well. Right. So he's got a career going where he writes his own songs, and then he has a career where he does Jackson Brown music. And, and both are doing well. And finally, on uh, Sunday's Rock This Town Orchestra, Brian Setzer and Stray Cats, covering Stray Cats. That's, uh, I think, an eight-piece band, a couple of horns. Uh, it really swings. And uh, Brian Setzer and Stray Cats are also kind of a rockabilly sound. So, uh, you know, it's very country-ish. And a couple things, a bunch of things for the kids, folks. We last year did three plays. Uh, we did Rumpelstiltskin. I think we did Wizard of Oz and something else. This year we have five different plays for kids all 10 o'clock on a Saturday at the Acacia Youth Center. On June 22nd, we have Alice in Wonderland. July 6th, we have Jack and the Beanstalk. July 20th, uh, Peter Rabbit. August 3rd, Cinderella. And August 24th, we have Stone Soup and other, other stories from the Pushcart Players. Don't remember that what that is. But anyway, every time I see kids and I have this, I say, hey, what about this? They can't wait. They can't wait. They've seen them last year. We had one concert last year. This year we have a bunch. Saturday, June, then those are Acacia Youth Center. These are now at uh, different places. On Saturday, June 29th, Michael Roseman variety performance, Woodbridge High. On July 10th, it's a special Wednesday show, Puppy Pals comedic stunt dog show. They take rescue dogs. They've trained them to do all these different tricks. Other towns have them for paid shows. We have them for free. Saturday, July 27th, music by Bobby Beatcut. You don't know him. I don't know him. No. It's a kid band. Then uh, Saturday, August 10th, Outside Rock. And Saturday, August 17th, Don Rocco Shaco Madcap Science Show. So some music, uh, the science show, the, the, the dog stunt show, different things for kids, but 10 additional shows. The first two I said were Wilbur Chai. The uh, Bobby B cuts at Parker Press, so is Outside Rock, and then finally Acacia has the Science Show. So 10 things for kids to do on Saturday mornings in the summer. Unbelievable, it's just what's going on here. Now I'm gonna just refer over here for a minute. Uh, Juneteenth we have this Saturday, and yep. you booked Ep uh, Epic Soul Epic for Soul. that. Epic yeah, a, uh, a soul band does 60s and 70s Motown and soul music. And really they did Juneteenth band. last year. Yes. And then this Sunday we have Let's Sing Taylor. That's one we kind of wanted to get, but we they were booked, but we finally got them. And they're coming this Sunday, uh, June 16th. It's kind of, we're calling that the kickoff of the summer series, even though there's two bands playing ahead of time, but that's the official big kickoff of our concert series. Yeah, and she played, uh, this band, this tribute band, played the Wellmont Theater in Montclair and played Count Basie in Red Bank but it wasn't free in those places, only, right, right. only in Woodbridge. I love when I see shows in theaters around us for a cost, knowing that we have the same ones for free. That's, I think that's just great. Uh, let me just look at, uh, we got the Independence Day fireworks, July 3rd, folks. The doors open, or gates open at four o'clock at Alvin P. Williams Park. We have Spine playing there again uh, as a local band, and we have AM Gold. Um, you mentioned the Light of Day Festival. Talk real quick about the jazz festival. That was phenomenal last year. Five, we had four towns, then we joined to make it five. Now Carteret joined to make it six. Uh, yes, uh, last year uh, it was uh, New Brunswick, Metuchen, Edison, Perth, Amboy, and Woodbridge. We all did one jazz show on four consecutive days, two shows on Saturday. And uh, we just tied it all together as the Middlesex County Jazz Fest. We got a grant from Middlesex right. County to help with expenses. and. Uh, it, it was fantastic. And this year, uh, Carteret is joining the mix. 
and it'll be the same deal. Every each town will do one jazz concert. Uh, ours is Sunday, September 29th. It's Stefan Remble, uh, his uh, Django New Orleans show. Stefan Remble did the music for a couple of Woody Allen movies. He's a gypsy jazz guitarist. Uh, Midnight in Paris. That's Stefan Remble music, uh, and uh, he did another Woody Allen movie as well. But very talented uh, gypsy jazz guitarist. And the other towns all have booked their jazz shows. And it'll be a week, almost a week, of jazz in Middlesex County. Great stuff. Yeah, and that's in uh, Parker Press Park, our show. And, and I should mention Parker Press Park, you had a lot of work done there to yeah, solve the flooding problem. We did. We, did. we the let the company who problem. built the apartments re renovate it, you know, restore it, I should say, because they used it for their trailers during the construction. They didn't do a great job. They left a bowl in the middle instead of a crown, and it was always water. And it wasn't a great experience. So now we went in and took care of it and put a crown, ran a pipe to get to the duct below it for drainage. And now it's much better. It looks I've, terrific. I've been there like the day after three inches of rain and there's no water right, exactly. at all. So it's really uh, does a good job. So I want to remind people, too, that in all of our shows this year, we will have uh, bins for um, boxes and cans of non-perishable food. We typically collect in the course of a summer 50 to 60,000 pounds of food for the food drives. There's no school, uh, so people kind of forget about the food drives over the summer, so this is important that we keep this effort going. And people should pick up one of these flyers because well, they're never going to remember everything that we just talked about. NJmusic.com. Uh, it's been wildly successful. We not only do our own shows, but we do the shows at Curtin's Restaurant, uh, the bands. We do the shows at Avenal Performing Arts Center, the ones at Big Shots, at the Brew Pub, at Moby Dick's, at uh, JR's, all the places in town that have free live music. Just, it's just we don't do any work. We just put their link to their website, and they have to keep it up and post it. But at least you can go. Where am I going to go tonight? Woodbridge NJ Music. Dot com And frankly, when we open up Anchor's Tiki Bar, that'll be on there, too, because we'll have live music there. Go to WoodbridgeNJMusic.com. You'll know everything for the whole summer into the fall. Whatever's going on at Woodbridge music-wise, live music, it's all there, and it's fantastic. So, going to be a great summer. Over 100 <laughs> different, with all the openers and everything considered, over 100 different musical performances or, or shows. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. So the music man of Woodbridge, Bill Brandenburg, has been my guest. I'm Woodbridge Mayor John McCormick. I'm not as nearly as much of a music man as Bill is, but I do appreciate uh, being out here and sitting down and listening to the music, and it's just gonna be a great summer, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around. The best town. <laughs>